Welcome to yoga on a windy day. Also in this video, I'm kind of bumbling and awkward. And it's because I am, um, I've put my mat in a hole and like on some really uneven ground. And it's also because sometimes I'm just bumbling and awkward. It's all right, we can still practice together. Do some cat cows. Inhaling to a cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Make them go side to side. Inhaling to a C shape with your spine and then exhaling to a backward C shape and do that a few times. Yeah, and then come to downward dog and pick up your right leg downward dog splits. And exhale it down and we're gonna do some of these leg kick things. Yesterday I watched a cheerleading how-to video because one of my daughters has as her core intention to learn how to do the splits. So we watched some cheerleaders. This is something that they do. It's nice, it's a little bit of glute work. The girl in the video did it with ankle weights on though. As you see, I'm not wearing ankle weights. And then put that leg through, that's your right leg. Let's do a lunge and kind of um, start to figure out things. Here we are opening up our back and hips in low lunge and heart. Yeah. And then straighten your front leg, lean down over it, and here we go into our splits. Obviously, I'm not really doing the splits. I'm on my back knee. This is half Hanumanasana. Full Hanumanasana is the actual splits. But, you know, to the extent that you feel like working on it, you can work on it from here. Don't be mean to yourself. If, but if you feel like taking that back leg back a little bit, kind of edging in closer you can just keep your hips really square that'll keep you from taking your bones out of the sockets and being extreme on your ligaments and then we're going to make the same pose standing up so obviously it's not quite the same pose but you're straightening both legs coming into pyramid it's a really similar hamstring stretch Finding your breath. Come on up, um, warrior three. Take up, take your back leg up, warrior three. I am standing in a hole. If you ever want to challenge your balance, do yoga outside. It is hard to find a spot that's going to make it feel like you're standing on a floor. There's always a challenge. Breathing and being as elegant as possible. Whoa. I say as I fall down. Fall down again. Don't do yoga in a hole. And then come to warrior two. 
Turning your hips to the side now. Man, that is some wind. Opening your hips to the side, being strong in your warrior two. We're gonna do three poses in a row that are this kind of grounding. First the warrior two, and then we're gonna do um, a goddess, and then we're gonna do warrior two on the other side. It's gonna feel like leg work after a bit, and you really are just finding the, both the stretch and the grounding parts of the pose. Yeah, and then turn towards the front. Here comes the second one. Goddess. Opening your arms so that they look like your legs. Yeah. And breathing. I went to this spot in the woods because this is a place where no one would ever find me. I'm deep in here. That's what I needed to not be found. Good. And then come to Warrior Two on the other side, finding this grounding again. Mm, and now you're like, okay, Warrior Two is a working pose for sure, but it feels good to have at least one of those legs doing a stretch. See if you can figure out which one. Good, okay. More elegantly than me, come to your warrior three on the other side. I'm going to take you down that sequence going the other way, starting with warrior three. I put my mat on like a bumpy hillside. It was a dumb place to put the mat. Okay. And then, oh, come to Pyramid. Pyramid on this side. Yeah. Your hips are square to the front. You're leaning down over your front hamstring and finding a nice angle. And you're breathing. And then you're gonna come down over that front leg and your um, big hamstring stretch, half Hanumanasana. You can take your back leg as far back as feels um, not mean to yourself. Most people I know, especially runners, have to do it with that back knee straight up and down and that's all right all right and then we're going to turn to the side and come to this big proserita your nice straddle forward fold you don't have to have your legs quite that far apart if you don't want to. Um, I like it though, especially about after, we've done a fair amount of stretching already. I'm setting myself up because I anticipate doing a headstand after this. If you wanna also do a headstand, you can lace your hands up behind your head and get your arms ready. Oh, 
or you could stay in Prasarita, also good. So here I go. It's a, um, I really have to assure you I'm more graceful than I appear here. I'm just on a weird bumpy hill. So it's about finding the place where your core will hold you up. Oh, this is really funny. And then just work on it. I like to have my legs apart in headstand. Um, that feels more balanced to me. If you feel like you're putting too much weight on your head, you probably are. Maybe um, work on some shoulder strength and arm strength. And that's where I fell down. Stay up there as long as you want. And then when you're ready, let's come into a child's pose. And then come on up onto your knees and grab your hands behind you and open your heart towards the sky. Come down to a camel. And then, what are we gonna do? Let's do some neck rolls. Exhale your head forward and inhale it to one side and then exhale forward again. And then, oh, that left leg, did you think I was going to forget? We're going to do those donkey kick things. No, it's not like a donkey kick because our leg is straight-ish. My leg doesn't really ever get very straight. Kicking and coming down. Mm-hmm. And then come onto your back. Yay. Hug your knees into your body. This was a nice part of my day, doing this yoga. Take your arms to the insides of the thighs and the outsides of the shins for a happy baby. That'll be a nice part of your day, too.
And then, oh, we're doing half happy baby. Okay, this is cool. So your right arm is still in the happy baby. Um, I'm not flexible enough to really show you how this goes. Your right arm is in happy baby. Your left foot is on the ground and you're letting your left knee fall out towards the left. You can't totally see it from what I'm doing, but my left knee is falling out towards the left. I'm just not super flexible. And what this is doing is a really unusual, interesting groin stretch. Kind of like pushing that leg away. And then do the other side. You can maybe see it more clearly from here. You got your one leg in the in the happy baby, and the other leg is falling out to the side, kind of in a pigeony sort of way. Take your legs behind you and put your toes on the ground if they'll reach and if this is comfortable. It should be relatively comfortable. If you have really tight glutes, you might not be able to do this. You might need to stretch out those glutes. And then if shoulder stand is something that um, is appealing to you, you can lift up those legs. But we are trying to not... My shoulder stand is kind of ugly. We're trying to not, not um, have any weight in the neck at all here. Yeah, and then come on up. And do some cat cows. And bottom of your exhale, we're gonna turn and do Prasaruta Padasanasana again. Nice stretch here. It all builds back fast, but the main thing is that it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter. We're hanging out in our body and that's all there is. And if the body is being cooperative, it's great. And if the body is being like clunky and awkward, it's okay too. It's a meditation on our physical selves. Good. Oh, here's what's coming. You're gonna put your knees on the ground you're going to put your feet directly behind your knees. In other words, not back. Your feet are behind your knees, and you're coming down in this giant groin stretch that is frog pose. This is a big stretch. It's not wide-legged child's pose. That's what we're going to do in a minute. Frog pose is when you've got your feet behind your knees. And like um, it's like you took um, goddess pose and flipped it. Onto, onto the front. It is a big groin stretch. Yes. And then we're going to come into a wide-legged child's pose for a long time. And you go ahead and come in while I'm setting my timer, okay? We're going to be there for 3 minutes and 15 seconds. It's a long, long wide-legged child's pose. You're going to love it.
had my face down directly in a pile of leaves. It was pretty good. Okay, come up. And then lay down in a regular child's pose, put your knees together. And then come down on your back. Oh, we're gonna do a long yin thing. Oh, this is neato. Take your right leg up over your head or towards the sky or whatever. And that's it, that's the pose. We're gonna do this for three minutes and 15 seconds. If you're lucky enough to have a strap, which I would certainly be using if I had one, you put the strap around your foot and that's gonna allow you to continue to stretch your hamstring while keeping your shoulders on the ground. I didn't have a strap, so I'm just holding onto my leg wherever I can get it. But, you know, even for really flexible people, don't take your shoulders off the ground in order to grab that foot. Grabbing the foot is not the important part here. Keep your spine in alignment while you're stretching your hamstring. If you don't have a strap, you could use a tie or a belt. Props are definitely not just for beginners in yoga. Everybody uses props, except if they're out in the woods.
This is starting to feel like a thing, huh? Okay, let that leg come down, put your feet on the ground, and really energize your legs in your bridge pose. Bridge does a whole bunch of different things, but one of the things that I love about it is how it feels on the legs. Really just grounding and strengthening for the legs. That's nice after that long, big old, long stretch. Among other things in your bridge also, you are opening your heart, constricting your throat a little bit. Feeling your ujjayi breath in your throat. Come down from that, let's do the other leg. All right, and then come back to bridge pose. Take your arms above your head and put them behind you and push up into wheel. And this is only if you don't feel like staying in your bridge, you can also stay in your bridge. 
Wheel pose is, I, I feel like it's, um, well, you know, it kind of makes sense. It's the same thing. You feel like you're doing the same thing on your legs as you are on your arms. You've got equal weight between all four of your limbs. They're kind of doing the same energetic thing. And then come down and stretch out. It's time for Shavasana. Wiggle your toes and fingers and wrists and ankles and roll onto your side in the fetal position. We're going to stay here for a few seconds. Breathing. And then come up and take your hands to your forehead and breathe into your sinuses, honoring every cell in your body. Take your hands to your heart, breathe into your lungs. I dedicate my practice to you. Thank you for practicing yoga. Namaste.